Alright, what's up guys? I believe this is part four for my saltwater fish tank build. And a couple days ago I was just browsing around all my other stuff for from some of my other fish tanks that I've had before when I was growing up, mostly just fresh water. And I got um found my old filter for one of my old freshwater tanks, cleaned it out, sanitized it, you know, threw a new filter in it and everything. I mean, there's still a little hard water on it from one of my old freshwater fish tanks, but I think it should be alright. But, as you can tell, I still haven't got any new live rocks yet, but I mean, tank still cycling, crystal clear water still, and the one thing that I do like about this filter versus my other one, I mean, it's a marine land um, filter. It's meant for a 20 gallon, but I mean, use on us 10. Got a brand new bio wheel for it, so does the job. I'm just piece this thing back together real quick. And I mean I like how the top hits the water and creates like a little current up top for the water. Oh, light just went out. There we go. I mean makes a little flow up top for the water. I'm still gonna get a power head for this thing. So that's circ circulates the water just a bit better but as of right now I mean it's doing pretty good and everything in this tank still looks good it's pretty crappy because I gotta wait for my next payday to really do anything but yeah it's just a little quick view of my little 10 gallon tank, my little 10 gallon reef tank I'm doing. Yeah, I plan on getting more, more live rocks. <laughs> then once I do that, you know, let it cycle a little longer. Throw a danzel in there. Get all my good bacteria up and everything before I start throwing corals in. Stuff like that, but. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.